under Hex's control, Dom's nearly defeated, trying to resist Shadow Kenner with the last of his strength. I won't give in. I won't give up. There's no need for rage, Dom. You're nearly there. Just do this one last thing for me, and it'll all be over. Go ahead. Show me something horrible. I'll break free. I'll still find the good in whatever it is. Now why would I show you something horrible? After all, I love you, Dom. You. Dominic is holding Kenna by the hand, leading her through the forest. Well, I am kind of fond of you. Kind of? Fond? Wait. This is where we met in the forest before the battle against Luthor. This is a memory. A good memory. Dominic Hunter, have you lost your mind? Did Say knock you upside the head during your training? No. Uh, I just... Let. Me. Go! Dominic cries out, and the world around him begins to crumble. Now! Kenna's face transforms, growing dark and gaunt before his eye. No! Dominic standing at the edge of a precipice on a mountainside, his jaws inches from biting into Kenna. Kenna! I... I... Where am I? What's going on? Kenna clutches at her side, blood running down the side of her mouth. Kenna, what's that? Did I...? It's nothing. I'm so sorry. Dom, listen to me. Hex is still controlling you somehow. If you let us capture her, we can force her to release you. She's using the device on the back of my neck. You have to... With a flash, Dominic finds himself back in Hex's mind control prison. Kenna standing before him. No, I need to go back. Let me go. No No one's stopping you, Dom. Concentrating, Dom finds himself back in reality. One claw raised, ready to crush Kenna like an insect. I... I'm back. Dom? Quick, Kenna! You have to cut it out! Dominic bows, bringing his head down to Kenna's height so that she can reach the device. She nods, moving to stand just beside him. I understand. Just hold still. I can't wait to be myself again. It's been so long. That it has, but... Well, I'm sorry, Dom. Huh? Tendrils of smoke coil around Kenna as she raises her sword. (coughs) Kenna brings the sword down with all her might, slicing clean through his neck. (coughs) And he finds himself back in Hex's mind control prison. Shadow Kenna laughing over Dom. Quit playing games with my mind. Games? Oh, Dom. Dom. The The game game hasn't even started started yet. That That was just a setup. This This is is the the real game. game. Dominic's back on the mountainside and sees Kenna running towards Dom as she raises her sword. (laughs) Terrified, Dominic lashes out with his claw, slamming her backwards. Kenna flies back, her body skidding to a stop at the edge of the cliff. Dominic stomps towards her. Get out of my head! Dom, wait. This isn't in your head. This is real. Dominic hesitates, a sliver of doubt creeping. Prove it. Prove you're the real Kenna. Okay, okay. Just let me think. Oh, when you were kids, there was that guard's son that always picked on you. Caleb? I remember him. You're just using my memories against me. Let me finish. Do you remember why he stopped tormenting you? I... no. He just stopped one day. He stopped because I... I threatened to have him executed. You what? No wonder he ran in the other direction whenever he saw you. He was hurting my friend. I did the only thing I could think of. Is that enough proof for you? Do you trust me now? Dominic bows his head, exposing the back of his neck to Kenna's sword. Are you sure? We don't know how this thing works. Removing it could kill you. I trust you, Kenna. Then let's get this thing out of you once and for all. Kenna wedges her sword underneath the metal device, throwing her weight down on the blade handle. Dominic feels the device beginning to lift, steel prongs ripping at his skin. This... Might... 
hurts. You think? Kenna pushes down as hard as she can on the blade handle, and the device finally tears free of his neck. <laughs> Dom's world becomes an explosion of sparks, and he feels himself falling. He regains his human form as he hits the ground. In the next instant, Kenna's at his side. Dom, are you all right? Tell me you're all right. I'm... I'm all right. I'm back. Kenna, I'm going to pass out now. Go right ahead. You've earned a little rest. Dominic rests his head on Kenna's lap, and she reaches down to gently stroke his hair. Smiling, he drifts into a warm, healing sleep. Watching through the airship's tall windows, Whitlock breathes a long sigh of relief as he watches Ken attending to an unconscious Dom. They did it, thank goodness. Whitlock scans the scenery, spotting Diavolos and Jackson helping a battered Say climb out of the chasm. Excellent, everyone's accounted for except for Annalise and... Whitlock pauses as a flash of movement catches his attention. Looking closer, he catches sight of a tall figure just as it disappears behind a ridge. Hex. Without another thought, Whitlock turns and sprints down the airship ramp. Whitlock hits the stone path and keeps running. Whitlock! What? Hey, stop! Whitlock barely registers their shouting. He continues to run, catching brief glimpses of Hex between the rocks. All reason has left him. All clever calculations and logic. The only thing he feels is rage. You're not getting away this time. Whitlock follows Hex to her airship, eventually finding his way to her lab. Inside, Hex rifles through shelves and cabinets, throwing their contents to the floor. Where did I put it? Blasted girl has to pay! I'll send her screaming to the bottom of the... Aha! Hex retrieves a compact crossbow from a shelf and turns to leave, then sees Whitlock standing in the doorway. She stops dead in her tracks. Whitlock! When did you... Hex looks down at the crossbow in her hand, suddenly dropping it on the floor and backing away. You! You were there! Did you see? I saw everything. How could you do it, Hex? How could you destroy Aurelia? Aurelia is a peaceful kingdom. They weren't hurting anyone. In what twisted world did they deserve this? I... I know they seemed good, but the rich still flaunted their wealth instead of sharing it. They represented everything that was wrong with the good rulers of this world! I had to! Stop! Just stop! Do you even hear yourself? Can you even see how far you've fallen from reason? I've fallen from reason? What about you, O oh leader of the technocrats? What about the weapons you made for Queen Kenna? Oh, you did your best to make them non-lethal at first! But I recognized your handiwork on those ballistas too! Are you so naive as to think no one died when you shot my airships out of the sky? I know exactly how many died. Whitlock bends down, snatching Hex's crossbow from the ground and leveling it at his chest. I looked at Luther's troop manifest. I did the math. I calculated exactly how many lives were lost because you forced me to play by your rules. Hex stares at the crossbow and then into Whitlock's eyes. His hands are trembling, but his aim does not waver. Whitlock, you wouldn't. Not that. Why not? I'm already accomplishing in hundreds of deaths. If this is the only way to stop you, then this is what I have to do. But first, I need to know. Was I just another tool to you? Tell me the truth. Did you ever really care about me? Or was I just another cog in your war machine? Tears begin to glisten in Hex's eyes. <laughs> Whitlock, of course I cared. I still do! All I ever wanted was to protect you from the evils of the world! Whitlock's grip tightens on the crossbow. If that was really your design, then it's been a spectacular failure. I... I... Hex collapses to her knees, tears streaming down her face. When you banished me, I was just so lost! I fell even deeper into my work! <laughs> I told myself once you saw my better world, you'd understand. <laughs> I should have never taken you in, but you were so bright and so brave. I thought maybe if you never saw who I really was. Hex 
suddenly reaches for the long silver dagger at her belt. Stop! I'll pull this trigger! I swear! No! You won't! In one quick motion, Hex unsheathes her dagger and holds it against her own throat. Hex, what are you? I won't let my sweet boy become a murderer! Just promise me! Promise that you won't follow the same path that I did! Promise me that you'll stay my sweet boy! The crossbow clatters to the ground as he lunges forward, slapping the dagger out of Hex's hand. Whitlock! I... Whitlock feels tears building in his eyes. Slowly, pleadingly, Hex reaches out. And Whitlock lets her gather him into a hug. Whitlock returns the embrace, and Hex clings to him like a drowning woman, sobbing against his shoulder. I've missed you so much, Whitlock! <laughs> can, can you ever forgive me? Hex, I don't know. You've done so many terrible things. I know! But I swear, I'll spend the rest of my life trying to make it right. Hex pulls away, clasping her hands in his. I'll release the rest of the technocrats right now. I'll surrender my ship, all my weapons and interventions. Then, just take me to Queen Kenna and I'll throw myself on her mercy. I... I know that's not close to enough, but... Hex trails off, her eyes showing fear, desperation and a gleam of hope. It's a start. After being startled awake by shouting, Dominic watches Say, Jackson, and a man he doesn't know chase after Whitlock. Kenna retrieves one of his spare tunics from her airship, and he winces as she helps him into it. Hex, what I wouldn't give to be going after her right now. Don't even think about it. I'm not about to let you die from exhaustion after all the work I put into saving you. Besides, do you really want to get between Say and Hex right now? I swear I saw flames shooting from Say's eyes. Huh? Not really. Anyway, once Say drags her probably lifeless body back here, what's the plan? We fly back to Stormholt and prepare for battle. Battle? Is it that time already? I feel like there's usually more lead up. Well, usually you don't spend several weeks trapped inside a technocrat mind prison. True. So, what did I miss while I was gone? Actually, we all ran away to join a band of travelling minstrels. I'm a juggler now. Come on, tell me what happened after we defeated Luthor. Who are we fighting in this battle that you mentioned? There's... there's a lot. Can we leave all that until later? Sure. Kenna nods gratefully, and Dominic can sense the deep hurt barely contained within her. Dominic reaches out, wrapping his arms around Kenna's shoulder. You know, I always thought you were missing your calling as a juggler. Oh? You should have told me sooner. It could have saved me a lot of trouble. Kenna, the past few... weeks... months... however long it's been, it's been hard. For a while I thought I wouldn't make it. Tom... But I did make it, thanks to you. You brought me back, Kenna. I am forever grateful for that. Oh? And how did you plan to show your gratitude? Well, for starters, how about I come to your room tonight? Kenna grins slyly at Dominic. Are you sure you'll be well enough for that so soon? I wouldn't want to slow your recovery. Dominic smiles back as he pulls Kenna towards him, kissing her fiercely. I'm feeling better already. Well then, I'll make sure to wait up for you. Dominic hears rock sliding down the slope nearby. Kenna springs to her feet, one hand on her sword. Who's there? Scanning the grey landscape. Kenna quickly spots a flash of gold emerging from behind a boulder. Just a few friends. Did we win? Kenna rushes over, and the two women share an embrace. Behind Annalise, Kenna sees a long line of people emerging from a hidden opening in the mountain. Annalise must have snuck into the city to evacuate her people. Painfully, Dominic gets to his feet and walks over to Kenna and Annalise. Managed to evacuate a few thousand, and they should have enough supplies to last a week or so. You're amazing, Annalise. I can't believe you saved so many. I'm just happy I didn't get lost in the mines. I haven't been down there in ages. My people will need a place to stay while the city is being rebuilt. I'm not sure where I'm going to put them all. Why don't they camp in the grasslands? There's plenty of space. It's far from the fighting. And there's woods nearby where they can hunt and forage for food. Good thinking, Dom. Yes. That sounds like the best option for now. 
I will let my people know. Annalise glances at Dom, a pained look flashing across her face. I... please excuse me. Annalise moves away to speak to a woman in an ash-covered gown. Gods, Annalise must hate me so much. Of course she doesn't hate you. We all know Hex was the one in control. Still, it must be hard for her even to look at me. I know I can hardly bear to look her in the eyes after what happened. Just go talk to her. She's tougher than you think. Maybe that's what I'm afraid of. Dominic walks over to Annalise and taps her on the shoulder. Hmm? Oh, hello, Dom. Did you need something? Annalise, I just want you to know, I tried to resist. I fought as hard as I could. I struggled every second to resist Hex's control. I just... I just wish I could have done more. I... Dominic's voice breaks, and he realizes his whole body is shaking. He clenches his teeth, balling his hand tightly into fist. I just... I feel like I failed. Dom? No. Annalise grabs Dominic by the shoulders. Dom, this was not your fault. Did you hear me? None of it. Say it. It... it wasn't my fault. Annalise pulls into a tight embrace. Dominic hugs her back, tears welling up in his eyes. Thank you, Annalise. Thank you, Dom, for doing what you could. It's gonna be all right. Look, the others are back. Dominic and Annalise let each other go. Down the path, he sees his friends returning with a shackled hex in tow. Well, look who it is. So glad to see you finally in chains. Seriously, this sight is making my day. Hex bows her head, her jaw clenching. Hex surrender voluntarily. Please listen to what she has to say. Whitlock nods encouragingly to Hex, who takes a deep breath and then drops to one knee. I... I wanted to make a better world and believe that I was the only one who knew how. I believed that the ends would justify my terrible means. But of Whitlock, the most intelligent and good-hearted person I have ever met, thinks I am wrong, then I must entertain the possibility. I offer my loyalty and service to Queen Kenneris of Stormholt, should she wish to accept me. Oh? And what possible reason would I have to accept that offer? I'll make weapons for you, or whatever other devices you wish. Kenna turns to Whitlock. What do you have to say about this? Hex has shown his true remorse for her actions. I believe she should be given the opportunity to make up for some of the evil she's done. Furthermore, I believe she intends to do just that. Watch. At Whitlock's gesture, Hex walks over to where Anton sits docile on a boulder. Anton, you need no longer obey my commands. Black Spine, Iron, Fortune, Bear. At the sound of the odd phrase, Anton gives a sudden jump looking around as if waking from a dream. I... you! Anton lunges at Hex, but Jackson brings him up short. Release me! She has to pay for what she's done! Friend, if you want to go after that lady, you're gonna have to wait in line. If we look at the situation pragmatically, I believe Hex will make a difference in the battle ahead. If she doesn't blast us all into a million tiny pieces... Well, I say we bring her. Who knows what sorts of contraptions Azura will bring to the fight? Since when does he get a vote? Someone want to tell this guy how alliances work? I, for one, would enjoy keeping this harpy as a pet. Say bears her teeth a hex. Perhaps, if she is well behaved, I will let her eat my table scraps. If the witch goes with you, then I will come as well. I want to keep an eye on her. Kenna thinks for a long while and then turns to Dominic. What do you think, Dom? We should recruit Hex and Anton. It's about time Hex did something that actually helped people. Very well. Hex nods eagerly, bowing her head. I hereby swear my loyalty to Queen Kenna Riss of Stormholt. Good enough. Whitlock, you'll keep an eye on Hex? I will, thank you. I also pledge my loyalty to Queen Kenna. I am eager to lend my strength to a worthy cause once more. Anton nods to Dom, and then turns towards Say. The two warriors lock eyes, their faces studiously blank. Then Say steps forward and pulls Anton into a fierce hug. It is good to see the man I know behind those eyes. It is good to be myself again. Nearby, 
Whitlock and Dews hex his shackles and the two of them begin to walk towards the airship, but stop in their tracks as Annalise moves to block their way. Just a moment, if you wouldn't mind. Hex's eyes widen in realisation. You're the ruler of... I... I'm so sorry for what I did. I want you to know that I... Hex is cut off as Annalise backhands her hard across the face. Ah! <laughs> sorry. You're sorry? Annalise slams her knee into Hex's stomach and shoves her to the ground. Annalise! Hex slowly gets to her feet, wincing as she wipes blood from her split lip. Well? I... I suppose I deserve far worse than that. Yes, you do. But blood is hard to remove from silk. Annalise smooths her gown as she steps aside, letting Hex pass. Is it just me? Or has Annalise gotten a lot scarier lately? Remind me to tell you what she threatened to do to Hex on the way here. Now, let's be on our way. I want to reach Stormholt as quickly as possible. Later that night, Dominic waits until the last of the crew heads off to bed. Then, pulsing with excitement, he climbs the ladder leading to Kenna's room. Dominic lifts the trap door and climbs in. Took you long enough? Kenna's lying across the bed, candlelight from the bedstand illuminating her, the light playing across her at every curve. Kenna, you look like the most beautiful thing I've ever seen, or ever will see. I see being brainwashed didn't make you any less smooth. Dominic catches a twinge of longing in Kenna's eyes. I've missed you, Dom. Almost more than I could bear. I missed talking to you in the late hours when everyone else has gone to sleep. And I've missed... She trails off. Even in the dim light, Dominic catches a blush in Kenna's cheeks. Pretty sure I know what you're gonna say. Oh, you do, do you? You missed... my perfect body. You've gotten a taste of Dominic Hunter. And now you want more. Well, when do I get what I want? Soon. Dominic moves close to Kenna, sitting on the bed beside her, and takes her hand in his. I've missed you too, Kenna. You've gone through so much. I'm sure I was the farthest thing from your mind. Quite the opposite, actually. What I want to say is, every step I took to resist Hex, every effort to break free of her prison, it was all done to get here. It was all done to be with you. Oh, Dom. Dominic leans forward, brushing his lips against Kenna's as she runs her hand along the back of his neck, pulling him tight against her. It's been too long. Way too long. More importantly, why are you still wearing clothes? Oh, right. What was I thinking? Dominic reaches down, pulling his tunic off. This better? Much. Their bodies pressed against each other. Dominic begins to run his hand on Kenna's thigh. She stops him. What is it? I was wondering, could you, you know, use your power to... Interesting. You want me to make things a little hotter? Just as long as you don't turn into a dragon. I don't think this ship could take it. Dominic runs his hands along her skin, fingertips heated by his power. Somewhere on the edge between warm and burning, Kenna arches against him, her breath quickening. Oh, Dom. Don't stop. I'm not planning on stopping anytime soon. The next day, Kenna's airship lands in the fields in front of Stormholt. Kenna pauses for a moment as Dominic disembarks, looking up at the castle. It feels like it's been forever. Does the castle look smaller? Maybe a little. As Dominic walks up the path, a soldier hurries out of the castle to meet him. Welcome, your majesty. Thank you. How go the battle preparations? Half of our forces have returned from their stations across the Five Kingdoms. The rest will arrive in the next few days. All castle servants in nearby villages have been evacuated to towns further east to keep them clear of the fighting. Good plan. I thought so. Any news from Fedoria? Not yet. The lookouts have spotted Val's airship on the horizon. She should be here within the hour. Perfect. Have her meet me in the throne room. Hope she brought some soldiers with her. We'll need all the help we can get. Kenna enters the throne room, which is bustling with activity. Looks like the planning began without us. Let's see if we can get caught up. 
Someone taps Dominic sharply on the shoulder, and he turns to see a familiar face. Well, look who's here. You're looking better than the last time I saw you. Madeline, you made it. Dominic pulls the old woman into a hug, and she chuckles, patting him on the back. Sure did. Thought I can say I'll be taking that little stroll again anytime soon. Anna, I want you to meet Madeline. She's the reason I was able to break free from Hex's control. Kenna smiles, clasping Madeline's hands. Then I'm in your debt, Madeline. It was worth it just to watch Hex blood pressure spike. What are you still doing here? This place won't be safe for much longer. The battle. I heard about all that business. And that's why I'm still here, where I am needed. Thank you. I feel better knowing that you're around taking care of us. Don't get all mushy on me now, kid. Just point me in the direction of your infirmary. Kenna flags down a soldier, and he leads Madeline away. I like her. I thought you might. A few minutes later, Dominic and Kenna are reviewing the battle plans when the door to the throne room bursts open. Val storms in, followed by a small crowd. Where is she? Where is Kenna? I need to... Val flinches, clutching her chest. Gods, Val! Slow down! Oh goodness. Will someone please bring a chair? I think she's pulled out her stitches. Val! My gods! What happened? Azura took Fedoria. We never had a chance. We... Val suddenly wavers, and Dominic and Kenna barely catch her before she falls over. Val, you need to rest. You're hurt. What I need is to pull Raiden's guts out through his ears. He betrayed us, Kenna. Raiden works for Azura now. Val's words feel like a sharp blow to the back of his head. Stunned, he turns to look at Kenna, whose face has gone deathly pale. This can't be. Raydan, you're going to pay for this. <laughs>